again, we keep leading the market. This car, there isn't another car advertised today. This is a 73 P460. So this is the 460, the new engine hybrid, 73 delivery miles VAT qualifying in Carpathian Grey. It's done delivery miles, it's priced to sell, but the big thing is people want everything that's the latest model. This is the latest engine. It's got, it's a 2024 model. So you've got the new center console where they've changed it, which I'll show you later in the video. But the big thing with it, it's the engine, it's the plug-in hybrid. You get 69 miles plug-in, then you switch to petrol or you can have it in hybrid mode, which uses both. But it's the 460, so the previous engine, if you like, it went from 400 to 440. This is the 460 to get the extra 20 brake horse. It's beautiful. It's got shadow line exterior, which is an optional extra. You've then got Carpathian Grey. You've got your digital light. The wheels, which I think are superb, I love these wheels. So they're 22 inch, the diamond, you've got polished silver, you've got the black inserts in 22s. I don't think you can put bigger wheels on with it being a hybrid. I think that's the option on the big Range Rover. You've then got a lot across the bottom of the doors, it's in gloss black. You've got a slide in sunroof, it's got privacy. And like I said, the big thing for me, there isn't another vehicle currently now as a 460 73 available to buy in the UK. We've got it, it's physical. There's other cars available, 440Es, 23 plate, selling for more than what we've advertised this car. The interior, ebony leather, natural, this natural grand birch, which is beautiful. It's like a very dark gray, so you've got them inserts in the door card, you've got your cabin lighting, you've got the lighter roof lining with a sliding sunroof, meridian speaker system, rear electric seats, soft closed doors, and then again, you've got these very, very comfortable, the big new Range Rovers. You've got your memory seats, things that you'd expect. Now, we need to try and show you the big differences. So the big difference with it being a 24 model, you've got your digital cockpit, steering wheel, I've got a feeling is a little bit different. Heated wheel, adaptive cruise, all standard. You've got your, your EV breakdown on the display. This is what they've got rid of. So this is all the same. You've got your wireless charge in there, where normally you'd have your two climate controls and all your heated screens, different driving modes. Well, that's gone now. So you've just got one start button just to make it a little bit more cleaner, but it all works off this 13.1 inch Privy Pro screen. So you've got the basics, which is similar, but if you look down the sides here, if we go into, you, this is your climate control. So for example, if you want to turn your blows, it's like that. Again, temperature is all digital on here. Heated seats, again. And that's the same for both sides of the car. Like you'd have the two sections on here. Other differences, if I go into the main menu, just turn them blows down. <laughs> I'm a little bit like that. I think I preferred where you could just turn the things, but it, you know, as, as technology changes, you get used to it. The mode, so that's changed. So because the buttons aren't here now, so you've got all your hybrid modes, your EV modes, your safe modes, which would have been a hybrid. If I go into here, you've then got all your different driving modes. So back into the main menu, I'll just show you this. TR modes, that's a new button completely. And then you've got your comfort, your auto, your grass, gravel, snow, your mud ruts, which would normally work off here. You've got all your ride height options, which all works off there as well. And then you've got your navigation, your Bluetooth, your multimedia, your wireless Apple CarPlay, your park assist, your Alexa, cabin lighting, a standard feature now. So you can adjust all your colors. So everything works off this and it, it does, you know, when things, you've got a driver assistance button, which is on there and also on the steering wheel. So you can press that and then you've got three different features for your driver assistance, which is new again. You've got a vehicle health button which again is, is all new. So obviously Land Rover are always moving on and trying to make things as usable for the customer, but it does take a bit of getting used to. Tilt and slide and sunroof, that's been paid for as an option. And the car's done delivery miles, 20 miles. It's VAT qualifying, it's a 460 hybrid, superb engine, They're completely it's such a much better car than the previous 
hybrid, which was the 30 mile plug-in, the two litre, the 400 horsepower. Split fold and tailgate, we've got two charging cables and everything with the car. There's a flask there, electric. Drop them seats down if you wish to. But for me, the big thing with it, it's VAT qualifying, it's a 73, it's a 460, there isn't another car available. You can buy it, the popular because of the benefits, you can put them through your business, the benefit in kind isn't nowhere near of the level as other models with it being the hybrid. It's, a, it's just a great car. It's going live on the website. Any more questions, give me a call.